Montana schools are in crisis. Studies show that two years of pandemic learning have set children back, but the bigger problem now may be teachers or lack thereof. As more and more leave the profession, it puts more strain on those who choose to stay as the problem spirals out of control. It was just a kind of a no win situation. Monday was a strange one for Kate McAuliffe Miller. It was the first time in 25 years she didn't have first day of school jitters. My body woke up early, like my normal morning routine, and I was like, what am I doing? So I went back to sleep. So it was, it was very nice. McAuliffe Miller has traded teaching for learning, now a student at the Montana Beauty Institute. She says her decision to switch careers was clear by the middle of last school year. These last couple years have taken their toll more disrespect to adults um, from a handful of kids in each of our classes. But it was also the stress of showing up to work knowing you'd be doing more than you signed up for. Every morning you'd get to work and there'd be a, a email from our secretary saying this many teachers are out today and we don't have subs. So we need to have them covered. We can't just put a body in there to just have a person you know, watching them. They need to be learning. So it, it got tough on you. There's certainly a point when you want to be recognized maybe for some of your additional work. Josh Keller left teaching behind after almost a decade with SD2. He's now a financial planner specializing in helping school districts because he wants to be part of this solution. They're also looking for custodians, they're looking for counselors, they're looking for additional administrators, they're looking for coaches. Really it's an education shortage and that education shortage puts a lot more stress on teachers because they're being asked to pick up additional roles amongst that. How do we get out of it? <laughs> I think that's kind of the million dollar question there, isn't it? They say the answer is twofold. One, districts need to sell the job better. At the end, I made a, a good salary, but it took me 25 years to get there. We need to be advertising more some of the benefits you get for the longer you're in. But none of it will matter unless the community as a whole buys in. If they find you know, youth development important, then they're going to make that a priority and they're going to kind of, you know, find ways to try and, you know, build up the resources around those kids. It takes a village to raise a child, but what happens when there's no village? In Billings, Casey Conlon, MTN News.